China imports more recyclable goods than any other country. But earlier this year, China stopped accepting a long list of imported plastic and paper waste and implemented much stricter guidelines for what it was willing to take in. That dramatic shift in policy is coming out of a national campaign to reduce the country's carbon footprint. But it's also a signal that China won't settle for being the trash collector for the rest of the world. The pileup started back in January, when China banned the import of 24 different types of paper and plastic, including things like reusable water bottles. China also changed its requirements for the recyclables it still accepts. It only wants higher grade clean stuff that's almost perfectly sorted. Harvey isn't alone. Shipments of American recyclables to China were down by 36% through April of this year. Waste Dive, an industry publication, estimates that drop-off has impacted recycling programs in at least 27 states. U.S. recyclers haven't just had to take whatever price they can get. They've also had to scramble to find new buyers. In the first four months of the year, recyclable paper and plastic exports to India, Indonesia, Taiwan, and Vietnam have all more than doubled. At the moment, some states are already giving companies waivers to throw out recyclables. It's happening in more than a dozen states, including Massachusetts, where more than 4,000 tons of paper and plastic recyclables and more than 10,000 tons of glass have been sent to landfills. China isn't the first developing country to leave these bottom feeder businesses behind. And it won't be the last, which is a good thing for the global economy, but it will continue to have huge ramifications for how we live on this planet.